In this video, I'm going to show you the six large folders in my uh, Cold Steel collection featuring blades around five and one half inches. Voyager series with the grivery handles. Right, and th those three blades, you see the Talwar XL, Espada Large, and my newest acquisition, a Recon 1 XL, which was the last one I needed to complete this this glorious collection of extremely large folding blades from Cold Steel. There you see all the blades. Look at all the different blade shapes. You know, you really can't complain when a company gives you so many different options. And wow, I mean, you got the S-curve, the Tanto, right, the, uh, the buoy clip points, whatever you would call that, Espada, <laughs> and the Talwar. Here you see the three models which have the G10 handle scales. You could say that these are the heavyweights. I uh, just recently reviewed that Talwar XL. Love it. Alright, check out. You can see the three different finishes. Black Teflon coat, bead blast, and the satin finish. And I would have to say I, I prefer the satin of those three. These are probably my two favorite knives of this whole little collection. The Talwar XL, impressive. And the Spada, love it. Alright, the three Voyagers. You've got the Vaquero, the Tanto, and the Clip Point. As I said, Grivery handles make these uh, about one and a half to two ounces lighter than the G10s. All right, check out the size comparison. That is a full-size USMC K-Bar fighting knife. Yes, these are big blades. You know, what other company will even, uh, will even give you the option of folding blades of this size? Only cold steel. Here you see the Voyager XL Tanto. Mainly what I want to show here is the stone wash, how they've done it. A bad stone wash is hard to tell from a bead blast, but this is a well-executed stone wash because it is fairly dark. It has depth and basically uh, a 3D appearance, so good job on the stone wash. All right, here are the two clip points, the Voyager and the Recon 1. I definitely thought you might want to see this. the differences here. Now, basically, on the new Recon 1 XL, uh, the blade is wider. Nope, you can see that there. It is definitely wider than on the Voyager clip point, and it just goes along with it also being a bit heavier. All right, so it's like a heavy-duty version. All right, now my Talwar XL. This is the only knife of the six that has the satin finish, and I definitely like how they have done that. It's also my only one of the six that has serrations. Right, and check out how they've done the serrations. I wholeheartedly approve of how they do those. They are razor sharp. It's a pocket sword chainsaw, essentially. All right, let's just do some, some flybys, some close-ups. Give you a nice look at all of these blades. I have to say, these large folders, as far as things to collect, I mean... There are a few things that are more fun to collect, few lines than these, like, yes, Cold Steel representing. But as I was saying, a lot of fun, you know, you might say they're impractical. I think, kind of think it depends where you live and uh, what your line of work is. But I don't think they're impractical for everyone. I especially like, you know, you're especially going to like them if you... Uh, if you practice certain martial arts. That's just a beautiful sight right there. Definitely. I mean, I love seeing a completed collection, of course. And I love using these as well. You know, no, no bottle shall be safe, especially from my Espada. All right, let's go out with a group shot of all these different blade shapes and grinds. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for many more. I am out.